Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another lesson with Revolution as Your Health, the program. I am Klaus Wallenberg and it's my pleasure and honor to uh, walk you through this short presentation. So we are returning to the Pyramid of Priorities and today we are going to hit the base layer which is uh, thoughts and mindsets. So that's where it all starts. And I briefly talked about this on a prior video. So we, let's get right into the meat of it. So thoughts and mindset is important because thoughts that are charged by emotion form beliefs that fuel actions, behaviors leading to results and consequences. So this means that what we think and what we feel will uh, form what we think is possible or even um, available to us. So there's an old saying that if you think you can or you think you can't, you are right. Meaning that um, I think you all need know the story about the four minute mile that before somebody did it, um, it was considered impossible to run an English mile in less than four minutes. Once the first person did it, suddenly in the few first few months afterwards, like 15 people does the same thing. So that's the power of the human mind. And when this becomes automatic, when our behaviors become automatic, we call it habits. And that's what we actually live by most of our time. And, and this makes this is actually what makes a change uh, a little challenging and you need to know what you're doing. So if thoughts charged by emotion is the root cause of our actions, then trying to change actions equals aiming at the wrong target. Yes. If our beliefs is what causes what we do, then it follows that we cannot change really what we do without changing the beliefs. And if we can't, if we if we don't change our thoughts and our feelings, the beliefs will stay the same, and long term the actions will stay the same. And this is the reason why we can will it through a few weeks of change, but sooner or later, if we don't build the base here, we will go back to our old behavior. Everybody knows about the. New Year's resolutions, right? So how do we do it? Well, the habit of action and behaviors create our results in life. And to change the outcomes, we need to create new beliefs that feel different habits. That's basically a no brainer after the information you just received. So the only way to do this effectively and effortlessly is to consciously choose to think other thoughts. That means focus our attention on different thoughts that pop up in our mind and to consciously charge these with strong emotions. And this sounds maybe a little way out there, but I can assure you it works splendidly. And this is maybe the most important diet you ever get on. It's the seven day mental diet. I really hope you will accept the challenge. This is from Emmett Fox, the philosopher from the early 1900s in the United States, and he's he wrote this little essay, um, and this is basically you should go seven consecutive days without entertaining a negative thought. Uh, and this changes lives, guys and girls. So what does this mean? Well, it means go seven consecutive days without entertaining a negative thought. There's an important distinguish here because we cannot help negative thoughts showing up our mind, but we can choose to dwell on them. And this means we have to be the observer of our own thoughts and consciously start to affect them and change them. Okay, it is I'm not gonna lie to you. Hey, this is not easy. It's really simple, but it's not easy. And it's not easy because it takes changing habits and changing habits is or replacing one habit with another habit is a very, very hard thing to do. And you really need a good reason to do it. So the mind 
can only hold one thought at a time. And we can always choose to substitute a desirable thought for an unwanted one. What we focus on grows in our lives and it automatically moves into the forefront of our mind. So here is the thing, is the glass half full or half empty? Or do we just focus on being grateful for having something in our glass? That is the mindset change we're looking at here. So the good news are the law of growth makes it easier over time because the more you do something, the better you get at doing it. So this is all for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you uh, giving me your time. I hope you get some value out of this. And please, if you haven't been there, go to uh, revolutionasyourhealth.eu. You can sign up for the newsletter. You can find a lot more posts and articles on there uh, similar to this one. And um, please give me some feedback. Tell me what you think. All right, this is Klaus again from revolutionasyourhealth.eu. Love you for watching. Be good, be well, and peace be the journey. Have a great day.